All right. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Liam, and I'm going to be using the collaborative therapy and working to build the therapeutic alliance with Mark and Kim here. So Mark and Kim, uh, welcome in. It's I'm glad I finally get to sit down with the two of you together. I'm, you know, seen a lot of each of you with Lisa, but it's good to have you both here collectively. So how are you doing? How are um, things going at home this past week? I'm super busy, um, but I'm glad to be here. I feel like there's so many things we really need to mm -hmm. talk about and address. Um, I'm stressed, but uh, I feel like there, I see change in Lisa, so we need to be here together to keep addressing the problems. Absolutely. And, um, and Mark, with you? Yeah, it's been a little more difficult because I've been in charge of the schooling and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And um, I found out that she skipped a couple classes a couple of days. Okay. And so, um, but overall, her behaviors have definitely decreased and she has been communicating better with us. Well, good. I'm glad. It seems like both of you are in agreement that there's been some improvements. So um, definitely try and build upon that. Um, how has it been between um, both of you at home? Honey, do you want to answer that? Mm -hmm. so, things are okay. I know my stress is not helping our relationship. I understand, mm -hmm. Mark. I understand. I've been tired. And then the problems with Lisa. So... Mm -hmm. We don't go on dates or do anything together pretty much. We're just parenting right now. So you're um I'm hearing your your work really takes takes a toll on your energy. Um so that it's hard it's hard to kind of deal with all of Lisa's issues when you get home. Is that right, Kim? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And Mark, how about how about for you? Well, I think it's just as hard parenting at home while she's, um, because I'm so responsible for getting them to school, picking them up from school, mm -hmm. all their school matters, um, both of the children. And so um, when she skips and I get a phone call, I'm the one responding. And so, yes, I'm pretty tired too by the end of the day. But I think it's important that we take that time to communicate about what's going on with Lisa or mm -hmm. even just checking in with each other, which we haven't been doing lately. Absolutely. So, um, yeah, I'm hearing from both of you that a little overwhelmed, a little tired, um, perhaps slightly different reasons behind it. Um, I'm curious kind of what when you say overwhelmed, um, how does that, you know, how does that manifest itself in your, your day to day? Um, I guess start with you, Mark. I know you're, you're spending the majority of the time with the kids at the moment. And so I'm curious to hear from you how that, how that uh, looks in your daily life. Mm, I seem to get more overwhelmed when the behaviors are increased mm -hmm. um, and when I'm knocked out of my routine right. um, with the kids, um, you know, when I don't feel supported, when I don't feel supported also, mm -hmm. um, because I, even though Lisa is the primary um, breadwinner in the house, I mm -hmm. still work hard at raising our children while she is at work. Mm -hmm. And so um, it's important for her to appreciate or, or not appreciate, but just learn to understand that, yes, I'm not an anesthesiologist, but I, I am raising our children right now. And it's a pretty mm -hmm. important job. Mm -hmm. And so, um, but it takes two. It right. takes two. And um, Kim, how does it feel for you to hear um, Mark express that and maybe... Mark, am I understand? Am I correct in saying that you may feel um, Kim doesn't quite understand all your responsibilities um, in the home, in addition to work? 
That's correct. That's correct. You know, um, it, it's 24 seven, seven days a week mm-hmm. for me. And so, so Kim, how does that feel to hear Mark express that to you? Um, I feel like at first I felt a little upset or defensive mm-hmm. just because I worked so many hours and just hearing that. But then I thought about it and I, I understand where he's coming from. So, and I, I love him. We have a place together and I just feel sad that this is how Mark feels. And I really wanna work on it. I just don't know how to balance everything in mm-hmm. our life. Yeah, I mean, I, I can tell that you both love each other very much and that's, you know, all the credit in the world to you that you're here working through this um, parenting, certainly not easy. So um, that's why we're here just to build on the progress we've made. Um, So, you know, I'm curious kind of what it would look like for both of you um, in a world where this problem resolved itself, you know, with Lisa in the home if she weren't using marijuana and she was attending school, I guess kind of how would that affect both your relationship, you two, and as well as the entire family? Um, um, Mark, would you like to start? Sure. Um, I think just by allowing us to rebuild the trust with Lisa, um, and, and Kim and I being able to go out, you know, an evening, you know, right. once a week or lunch once a week or even breakfast, just having that one on one time together to be able to mm-hmm. vent, to be able to discuss our concerns and um, the things that are going right. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, that's always nice to talk about too, you know, when it's, when it's happening. So I do believe that would be a good start. Absolutely. Definitely. I agree. Um, focusing on the positive sometimes can be, can be useful, um, especially when we're going through rough patches. So, and, um, and Kim, how do you feel it would, you know, change your relationship and your relationship with Lisa? I think and uh, if everything looked perfect, I would have more hours in my day to mm-hmm. get home. <laughs> Definitely that. Also, I think I will, I'll be able to spend more quality time with Mark and quality time with Lisa. Right. I don't feel like I have been there to raise her as much as Mark. So mm-hmm. in a perfect world, I'll be there as much as Mark is. Right. It's me appreciate him more for that. And I feel like that would be beneficial for Lisa because she will have her mom and her dad and maybe she wouldn't be in this situation mm-hmm. at all. She wouldn't be missing me and fighting with Mark and screaming in the house. Right. Um, well, it's important not to put too much blame on yourself, I know. You know, you, you're both both working hard to provide for her. So, um, but it is, it's great to hear that from each of you. And then um, I guess kind of moving forward, what is, you know, what is something that you could both agree on that would make this easier on, make parenting Lisa easier on you? Because you mentioned each of you feeling overwhelmed at times. So I'm curious if we can kind of come up with a collective goal that might um, might make this, yeah, this process a little smoother. So do either of you have any, any ideas? I'm thinking perhaps in regards to communication um, between the two of you. I, I personally think that if we were to spend time once the kids are in bed, instead mm-hmm. of watching TV, you know, um, to take that time, you know, 15 minutes before we go to bed and talk about the day and, and listen. And, and, and I think I need to validate him just as much as I feel like I need to be validated. So Mm -hmm. I'd like to get back to that, that mutual 
you know, um, that mutual uh, validation of each other, that mutual um, where we understand each other and we're not, um, and the communicating is, is a huge part. And we have, I mean, wouldn't you agree, Kim? We really haven't been doing that ever since the behavior started, that's taken precedence. And we're so yeah. exhausted by the end of the night. It's like, mm-hmm. ugh, you know, go to sleep. But mm-hmm. yeah, that's what I, I think. What do you think? Yeah, at the end of the night, I don't even want to talk. <laughs> I, I can't, I'm so tired. I know you're tired. We just want to go to bed or watch TV and just make our minds go away <laughs> from all mm-hmm. the problems. But I think that maybe if we just spend some quality time I'm sure it'll be more satisfying than just watching TV. Yeah, that would be wonderful. Great. Well, I'm excited. Um, I'm excited to check back in with you both next week and see see how the the nightly chats um, help you guys. So I appreciate you both coming in and we'll check back in next week. Thank you, Mark and Kim. Thank you. All righty.